Hey guys, and welcome back to Rustic Effects. Today we'll be creating a small wooden snake. These are two test models. This one's slightly bigger. And this is a little other. I'm going to be using this tool and a couple others, just regular wood carving tools. And we're going to be starting on this big long stick. And it's very similar to one of these snakes. This one's obviously smaller, so the steps work on a smaller scale, but we'll start off with a big scale and might do a smaller one later. Alright, the first step is get your tools, get your safety equipment, everything on. And then you can see this is a rather big stick. And what we're going to do, we're going to try and make the head of the snake. So I've pointed it slightly already. So it's pointed and you can see that. So I'm going to make it better. Alright. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to find the point I want to get to. So I'm just going to slowly go around and get the shape to it. And think of it. It's already got kind of a shape to it. Okay, as you can see, I've made it slightly more snake-like, and then I'm basically just putting a bit where the eyes can go. See that slap bit? That will go where the eyes go, then I'm going to smooth it off. I'm also going to do shape it and then give it a neck bit there, so it's slightly thinner than the rest of the body. So what I'm going to do, always do it away from you. Okay, so now what I've done, I've uh, shaped the head. You can just see it there. I'm going to wait for the cameras to focus. And then you see the two side bits, that's where his eyes can go, and then that's the bottom. So it looks more snake like now, especially from lying down. So all I'm going to do, I'm going to just scoop out the other bits. Let's say scoop. And stop. Now I'm going to scoop out the other bits with this one. It's really just going to pluck them out, and then I'll show the results in a few moments. Okay, as you can see, I've done. I've basically scooped out the wood bits, and then you see the points. Made them about like, about, about, about a finger bent. And then on that side, you can clearly see the shapes coming together. All we need to do now is... It still needs a slight little bit of just sanding. You can either do that by hand or with the with the Dremel. And then all I'm going to do is point this, point the tail, make it nice and tail-like. <laughs> uh, to point the tail, literally just get your tools and make make a fine point around it. Just keep going round, and then I'll show you the results of that. I've now finished the tail of the snake, as you can see, nice and pointed. <clears throat> I've also polished off any of the other bits on the snake to make it look a little nicer. Let me show you it lying down. And the way I've done it, it's his head is slightly up compared to, let's say, our test model, which is completely flat. So, so all I've done is just slightly curve this bottom bit, slightly in a slightly thinner neck, which, depending on the type of wood, might crack and might break. But this one should be all right due to the consistency. And it looks like the snake's moving upwards, and it gives you, gives you a nice rustic effect. As you are, can see, the model I made this video is very similar to our test models. However, its head is slightly polished up. So I'll, if you want it either flat, just keep it level the whole way through. But if you want it slightly lifted, like it's about to attack, to make it either a slightly thinner neck and then go slightly with either a plane or any other wood tool, just slowly curving it up, 
through the body of the snake. And then you should have quite a nice rustic effect for you. Thanks for watching, and I shall say thank you and see you again.